conference of Calvin Cash Jr., former St. Augustine prep football player who's now at the Naval Academy playing for the midshipmen as the 116th Army-Navy game is set for today at 3 p.m. CBS in Philadelphia. Who do we have on the line first, Marcella? Yes. Hey, go Good morning. <laughs> go go Navy. <laughs> How are you this morning? Starting already. She's starting already. <laughs> uh oh, the, the battle's brewing at the home front here already. Uh Marsh Marcella, Dave here from uh Glory Days magazine. Tell us a little bit about this day and uh what it's like for your family. Obviously your husband Calvin uh is was a former black knight in the late eighties and one of the leading rushers in school history there, and now your son plays for Navy. What's this day like for you guys as a family? Oh, it, it's exciting. Let, let's just say that uh, I didn't uh, lay my head down until about two, uh, three thirty this morning, <laughs> getting ready for today. <laughs> yeah, I was so ta- we, we are just, we're just hyped up and ready to go. I was talking to uh, Dennis Foreman, the uh, athletic director over at St. Augustine, and I said, "You know, is eight fifteen too early for the cast family?" He's like, "No, they're a military family. They're probably up at five a.m." So, <laughs> <laughs> and yes, yes, we were. Yes, we were. Uh, I was up late uh, getting. Uh, my gear together for today um, on my signs and and different things so I can get down there and represent and be up there with Billy the Goop get the (laughs) Navy on. So you've basically abandoned your husband and and the Black Knights here today. (laughs) Well, I abandon is like a, that's a a not so nice word. Let's just say I'm just, uh, I'm I'm loving the blue and gold right now. All right. (laughs) Uh, Calvin, yourself a, a former Black Knight played for Army back in the late '80s, and uh, how cool is it to see your son playing for in this game? It's, it's such an honor for for anybody to even make these academy teams, and uh, you know, just the whole atmosphere today is going to be awesome. It's it's really special for me, as you said. I did play in the '80s, and we were very successful against Navy, three and one. Uh, um, at the end of the day, what you said is correct. These these young men go out there; they're going to defend the country later on in life here and what they put out there on that on that football field it's remarkable and it's a special thing to watch what do you remember most about your games against navy and uh you know does is there a different atmosphere now or or is it kind of always been uh this this really intense rivalry the rivalry is intense i mean when when you think about the army navy game you think about a set of young men on both sides of this, on both sides of of this rivalry as being equally matched. A lot of these young men were not recruited by the big name schools, so they all played with a chip on their shoulder. And I think what you want to see when you see this game, you want to see that never quit, never die attitude. Because again, these young men are going to defend this country. And when they play that game and they play it to the last minute, that that's something that that's uh, remarkable that you never see. You don't you don't typically see that in a lot of college football games. We're actually uh, we got a TV in studio here checking out college game day is on the scene and uh, all the cadets just just going crazy up there already. Uh, you know, when do you guys plan on getting up there and and uh, what's the what's the day look like for you in terms of uh, hanging out before the game after the game and, and will you get to see your son much? Oh yes, yes. Uh, well, we're getting ready to head out once we finish uh, chatting with you. Um, we're going to be tailgating over in uh, lot M N and uh, we. Uh, we're going to be tailgating. Our tailgating is going to be uh, taken care of by t Wake. So we're going to have a, a tailgate party going on. Um, we're going to try and get over there. My goal is to get on game day, get up there with my <laughs> signs and represent and cheer on uh, Coach Nia Matalolo and the rest of the uh, cadets and, um, excuse me, midshipmen. Flip. <laughs> <laughs> and and get, see, I, see, I do. I do love Army. I do love Army. <laughs> I just love Navy just a teensy bit more right now, <laughs> but um, and uh, just represent and just cheer everybody on. I'm just, I'm, we're just so excited. I mean, I'm just, I can't even begin to tell you. That's pretty cool that that uh, Todd over at T Wigs is helping you guys out. Uh, how many friends yeah. and family do you expect to be up there with you? Oh, I think we're talking at least thirty, forty. At least thirty, forty. Yeah. So, uh, any, if you're up there, uh, come on by. <laughs> nice. Out. We're talking with uh, Marcella and Calvin Cass. Their son, Calvin Cass Jr., is a uh, junior slot back on the Naval Academy, the 116th Army-Navy game taking place in Philadelphia at the Link. 
today at 3 p.m. on CBS, so definitely check that out. Uh, Calvin, talk a little bit about uh, your son's career. He was obviously one of the top players in South Jersey when he, when he was at St. Augustine. Uh, had to take on a little bit of a different role his first couple of years at Navy, um, sort of coming off the bench, and, and now he's kind of um, – you know, coming into his own as a college football player, how different is he now than he was a couple of years ago as a senior at St. Augustine? Well, that's quite interesting because I've thought about that um, over a period of time here. When, when you think about his career at St. Augustine Prep, he had some challenges going through up until his senior year. I think a lot of people didn't know who he was up until mid-season junior year when he had an opportunity to play running back. And then his senior year, of course, we know what happened, 2,000 yards, 34 touchdowns, and you know, I don't think he blocked once. <laughs> so when you go to the Naval Academy, uh, you have to block. And blocking is very important. That's one of the things that I stressed to him when he when he left. He said, listen, son, you already know how to run the ball. What you need to know is how to block. And what I've learned over the last couple of years just talking to him is that he gets more satisfaction out of making a block, watching one of his other slot backs or the quarterback score a touchdown. So he knows that, you know what, I've done something to help my brother score a touchdown and ultimately help the team win it. So I think he's matured quite a bit. You can ask his mother as well. And when we talk to him after every game, it seems like every day he's just maturing. He's becoming more and more of a man, more and more of a leader. And we love him and we respect him and we couldn't be more proud of him. Yeah, you don't block at the Naval Academy, you're going to find yourself on the bench for a lot of those games. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So, uh, um, Marcella, your son, you know, you're talking about a teenage boy who goes from maybe 15, 16 years old at the high school level, and now you're seeing him kind of mature into a man uh, in the Naval Academy, obviously going to be serving in the Navy post-graduation from the Academy. Uh, you know, How impressed are you with, with how much he's developed over the last three or four years and, and become the man you had hoped he would become? He, he has – I'll never forget the, the time when we went up year and it was, it was his freshman year cleave year when we went into to watch the jv game and afterwards we met him in the hotel just to talk with him because he got the travel he got to dress the next home game mm -hmm. and we we walked away from there and i said you know he he's adjusted because it was an adjustment you know for him his first year there and and also you know for me knowing knowing that once your child is in the academy and knowing you know, it's not college. This is, it's totally different, and you have to, um, sometimes you have to explain that to other parents who have children that go off to school, that this isn't, this isn't your normal college. This, when he leaves here, like you said, he's gone off to serve um, the country, and there's something ab about that, knowing that what your child is about to do. And But I felt a sense of calm also, too, with that, you know, with my husband being um, in the military and graduating from West Point, I had an idea as to all that's going, going to happen to him and what he's going to be going through. But it, it's still tough to see your child go through that. But to see him mature is just, it, it just, I can't even, I can't even tell you. I'm just like so giddy and so happy. <laughs> you know, when I talk with him and I see him, I mean, you can ask people at my job. I'm just, it's, I'm just so, so proud of him and um, to see how he is maturing and going off and, um, and see how he's, he's following his father's footsteps. And he sometimes has to look and see, you know, like, you know, he is like his dad. And, um, you know, we laugh and joke about it because, you know, as teenagers, they're like, oh, you know, dad, dad, this, dad, that. But now he's realizing that, you know, he is his father's son. So it's, um, it is really, 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 we're really, really proud of him. And um, I just, you know, I just can't even, I could go on and on and on talking about him. <laughs> and we just love, 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 love Coach Neil Matalolo, Coach Judge, Coach O'Rourke, and the coaching staff there. Excuse me, they, they're just, they make a, they make a mom feel at ease knowing that, you know, their child, their child is there. I feel real good about um, the whole coaching staff and what they're doing there. I couldn't be more happier. Well, of course they're going to tell the moms what they want to hear, but what about the first day of practice? <laughs> you know, when he first when he first got down there, what was his reaction? I mean, you're you're not in Kansas anymore when you go to the Naval Academy. I mean, this is big boy stuff. You you don't you don't uh you don't go home after on the weekend and you know, get some comfort from your mom. I mean, these guys 
they have you and, and they're going to make men out of you. So what was that like his first you know day or two at the academy and, and was it a little bit of a shock to him? Uh, I'm going to explain the first day because I don't think his mother can still remember that day. <laughs> he was just as shocked as he was. As he was. Um, I remember that day vividly. I think mom cried all day. <laughs> mom slept the whole way home. And uh, the, the neat thing about the Naval Academy is they put you through this process of um, enrolling you, getting your clothes, getting your books, getting, getting all the, the, uh, the, the equipment that you need for summer training. And then they give you 15 minutes at the end of the day to spend with your parents before you go in. And this is something that my son and I talked about prior to him going to the Naval Academy. I said, you know, if I could have left that first day, I would have. <laughs> and he, I remember today he said, you know what, Dad? I now understand what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's de- it, it definitely was- quite a shock for, a, for an 18-year-old kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, it, it was. Because he was – I, I can – I can still get teary eyed thinking about that day when we we said when I was holding on to him, hugging him and saying goodbye and wouldn't see him for six weeks. It was yeah, it was really, really hard. Guys, what what's the atmosphere like today, you know, at a game like this when you get in that stadium and there's seventy thousand people and, and they're they're all kind of cheering for, for both these teams, obviously being both service academies and it's just gotta be an amazing atmosphere. I've never been to the game myself personally, but it's it's definitely on my bucket list. I'm gonna try to get to it uh next year. Just I mean if you're a college football fan, this is really something special. Yeah, I don't think you can describe the atmosphere. I mean it's electric. At the end of the day you get you have fans from both sides, Army and Navy, just cheering their teams on. And you know we say we're, we're friends for 364 days. We're enemies for one day. And we're not really enemies. We're just opponents. Um, but you have the flyovers. You have the, you have the skits from Army, from Navy. It's just, it's, it's, it's pageantry. It's electric. And, again, it's not something that you can describe from the standpoint of you have to be there. You have to experience. You have to experience it. Yes. And once you experience it, then it's something that you'll never forget. And and I can um, uh, jump on with that. I have uh, coworkers who sons and who started following Navy football, and they they come down to Annapolis to check out a game, and they're just it, it's just the it, it it's just all, I can't even write anything. Can't, there's no word to describe it. The patriotism that's there, it's just it is just a feeling that it, people are trying to you know scamper to get tickets last night to come to this game. Right, and it's just. I'm just so excited. I just cannot wait to get there and start doing my thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, technically, technically, I'm neutral because uh, my old man was in the Air Force back in the 50s. So, oh, okay. But I'm going to go with Navy today. I don't want to make mom mad. Woo! So go midshipmen. Okay, so, hey! so, sorry, Calvin. <laughs> That's, okay. well, yeah. That's all right. I'm, I'm wearing a shirt today that says Army grad, Navy dad. My wife had it made for me. So, Oh, that's awesome. Um, support my son. I love him, and uh, you know we want to see Navy have a good game. We want to see my son have a, our son have a good game. That's right. That's right. Ultimately, we it's, want it's ul- going to be a good day. Ultimately, we want to sing last. <laughs> there you go, guys. I appreciate you hopping on board. Great interview. Thanks, and, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. You too. Go Navy. <laughs> go Navy. A uh, really cool interview there with uh, Marcella and Calvin Cass. Their son, Calvin, is playing for the Naval Academy. Again, today, 116th Army-Navy game, 3 o'clock CBS. Definitely tune in. Uh, really special event for college football.